PC Sims, and we are here with Color X Malice. So we're starting a whole new game today. Yay! Um, so I'm excited. Um, and to start off, we're gonna start off if you're playing along with Spacey Go. Um, one of our main guys is Finnis. So there you go. That's your six degrees of code realize. But I'd also like to point out that it's really weird in this game because our main five guys, like our little love interest, only one of them is our code realize boy, which is just weird. The other four, I don't think we've seen in other games or I'm just not familiar with them. But Lupin is a side character. So he is in this. He's just not one of our dateable boys. And Watson um, from future blessings is in this he doesn't really count he's not really one of the six but he's like the six and a half so it's like six and a half degrees because he's actually in a lot of shit surprisingly but you know he was really only a side character in got realized but i just wanted to point that out um also one of the side characters in here um does the voice of nomura in hakuoki who's a side character in that he's a side character in this but still um so those are the only ones that I know, but there you go. That's how we have to start everything. So um, let me just read the back of the case for you for this game so we can go over it um, before we jump in. And I'm sorry if I'm like, you see me toggling and doing this as we go through. It's just because I don't want the theme song thing to like interrupt and like load in. So anyway, vivid ideals, formless justice, everything leads to rebirth. Anyway. The protagonist is a rookie cop working in Shinjuku, a city that has become unsafe after a series of violent crimes. See, and you're doing this anyway. Stop, game, stop. I'm like purposely moving around so you wouldn't do that, you son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, blah, blah, blah. A city that's become unsafe after a series of violent crimes known as the X-Day incidents. While responding to a call late one night, she was ambushed, and upon awakening, she found that she'd been collared by an unknown person. Worse, the caller had a poison delivery mechanism that was capable of being activated remotely. I'm just going to go into the options so it thinks we're doing something. So, uh, as she's given a small dose of, dose of the poison, a few mysterious men arrive and save her. They claim that they're former police officers attempting to solve the X-Day incidents. Uncertain whether or not she can trust these men in their mysterious circumstances, she reluctantly agrees to work with them. She has unwittingly become the key to unlocking the mystery of these horrendous crimes, but who's in control of her life? And can Shinjuku ever be returned to its tranquil past? So there you go. And of course we have the moody broody guy. There is no glasses asshole. I hate to say it, guys. I'm very sorry. Nobody with glasses. Um, there is the moody broody guy who you know is going to have that like bitch voice. Like whatever. You don't know me. You don't know me already. There's like the strange guy who I swear to God looks like he's wearing cat ears. I could just be the kid. I don't. I don't know. It. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's just got a really strange pointy hat on that looks like a cat ear. I don't know, but he seems to be the mysterious, like, quiet type. Um, and, of course, there's the guy with the eye patch who just looks like the impay. And the boy, I was playing around with the voices. Like, I listened to some of them, and I'm like, yeah, he's got the gruff kind of, like, he's going to have the impay kind of voice. And then there's, like, the two other dudes who, like, haven't quite figured them out yet. But, anyway. Okay, let's start now. Oh, yeah, no. Hi. What's your name? Um, reset. Oh, delete? Huh, <laughs> spacey. <laughs> Hand, should we, should we be? Yeah, let's put it all in caps. <laughs> let's put it all in caps. Spacey! <laughs> spacey, yes. <laughs> no exclamation point this time is enough. This is a work of fiction. People and names appearing in this work are entirely fictional. This work has no... You know what? I didn't read it. Therefore... I'm really... Okay. So blah, blah, blah. Read this yourself. Because this is just a bunch of people complaining about X-Day incidents. And I can't even read this fast. So... And hopefully the volume's loud enough. Oh my god. Why do they have animal faces? This is some saw level shit right there. <laughs> Cool. Like Roman numerals, so X for the number 10. Is that what we're supposed to be getting at? 10 days. 10 days. No, it's 7 days. That's how the ring works. Jesus, this game. Oh. 
Am I supposed to click? I am clicking. Didn't work. Maybe not. And I'm pretty sure I turned the voice up. Back. Report of the X Day incidents. Look, it even says next on it. That's really cute. Normally it's just like a cute little icon. This one says next. April 1st. The video that started all this played on the giant screen facing Shinjuku train station. In order to restore tainted Japan to health, the countdown to X Day will now begin. I'm saying it in my voice, but that's okay. Our objective is simple. Purge the corruption from the land and make Shinjuku the site of its rebirth. If you're afraid, then leave this land. We will not be stopped. Oh my god, there's a gnat in my face. But know this. No matter where you are, you will be judged. There are no exceptions. We will resurrect truth in this world. No longer will only the weak be persecuted. Some people appearing to be police officers were tied up in the video, so police are working frantically to trace the broadcasts. Prior to the broadcast, a number of officers had been reported missing. The transmission's origin and the officers were never found. And then May arrived. Another video showing the bound officers, like the one in April, was uploaded. Man, they kept them for a month? Thank you for waiting, everybody. The time for judgment is at hand. As we mentioned before, the people here are criminals. In order to cure Japan, such people must be exterminated. Are they shady cops? Is that what you're saying? Judgment has been passed as a preview of X Day. They're gonna kill Mono Me! I'm sorry. I just. And look, Mono Koopa's on the left. And Mono Penguin. <laughs> I don't know what Penguin is in Japanese, but it's Mono Penguin. It's actually not. He's a blue penguin, but whatever. This is not the end. Henceforth, we will continue to meet, meet out justice to aid our nation's rebirth. Met out justice? Our name is Adonis. That sounds sexy. <laughs> Hear me well, listeners. Make sure that you remember this name, okay? <laughs> okay? All right, dude. Anyway, may this world become a paradise. No! <laughs> I mean, you knew that was going to happen, but damn! Gunshots rang out during the declaration, and the police officers were shot. Damn. The police traced the video to an abandoned building and confirmed one officer's death. However, other officers' bloodstains were found. The criminal's trail and the missing officer's whereabouts are still unknown. Six. I'm looking for numbers on these, but I don't see them. This incident began a chain of heinous crimes that continued into June, July, and August, and the number of victims steadily rose. Please tell me this is happening in October. P public scrutiny of the police grew harsh as time passed, and police efforts were fruitless. That would be great, right? Because then there were people running around in masks, like Halloween costumes. And you know, I don't know, do they celebrate Halloween in Japan? But let's just pretend. Um, that'd be fucking amazing, right? And you'd be like, oh, we never know who's in the mask! It'd be like the purge. <laughs> There's a little bit of the purge going on in this, and some saw. <laughs> like... A Roman numeral indicating a countdown and a unique coin believed difficult to counterfeit were found at the scene. Told you there were Roman numerals! I'm smart! I don't know about the coins, though. A Roman numeral indicating a... Oh, oh I, I just read that. Okay. I, I was looking at the background when I clicked and I thought it was starting over at the top. Markings on the coin led some to speculate that the once dismantled terrorist organization known as Adon Adonis had been reborn. And then on September 1st... Ooh! But guys, this game is going up in October. We're a month behind. Exasperated by the repeated incidents, the government enacted extreme measures. Shinjuku Quarantine Act. This measure, intended to trap the criminals within the borders of Shinjuku, obviously drew the wrath of the public. Demonstrations bordering on riots broke out, but the government suppressed these and stated that it was for Shinjuku's safety. The government did not stop there. It also adopted unprecedented extra-legal measures. If they were smart, they wouldn't be in Shinjuku. They would be outside. Repeal of the Swords and Firearms Control Law. Well, okay, wait. Back it up. Okay. Repeal of this Firearm Control Law. So, like, I'm assuming repeal of the law is basically like, America, everybody got guns. Woo! Um, You know, because, like, most countries are a little more advanced. And they're like, dude, guns are bad. You shouldn't have them. Okay, like, so let's just not have, like, people like it. So now they're like, but I just... But I just, I, I guess, it's just amazing to me because, like, in the U.S., you're like, you can have guns. And if you was like, gun control, but there's no, like, you can't walk around. I'm pretty sure you probably can't walk around with a sword, but I mean, like, that's not a little, like, sure, swords for all. Like, what? Wait, what? So Japan had, like, a law before that that was, like, 
Dude, 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 dude. You cannot just fucking walk around with a sword. Dude. Like, you had a, law, a specific law? I mean, we might. I don't know. But I guess it's just, I just don't see a lot of American people walking around with swords. But I, we were never samurai, so I guess that makes sense. But this is just amusing to me. <laughs> Man's like, bitches, you can take out your swords now. Woohoo! So... When we play Hakuoki and they're all sad because the way of the samurai is dying, you're like, dude, you just got to come into the future because it's coming back. That's all I'm saying, right? Where are our samurai warriors when we need them? That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Like, because this is supposed to be taking place in, like, is this in the future or is this normal? To I don't remember. I can't remember because I've been looking at this one and, um... Psychopaths, mandatory happiness, and one of them said 22nd century Japan, but that might have been Psychopaths. I don't remember. I was deciding which one to play, and then I was thinking that one because this one's an Otome game, and we have two other Otome games going, and then I was like, fuck it! This is the one I actually wanted to play. I was leaning more toward this one, but then I was like, maybe we should just play a game that's not an Otome game, and then I was like, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> All the Otome games. Anyway. Yay! Guns for all! It's like Texas up in here. To provide citizens a means of defense, firearms were provided to all people over the age of 20 within Shinjuku. Oh. I'm very sorry, Japan. You got this from America, didn't you? We're a really bad older brother. We're not even older. We're just... Okay. We're just a big, fat douchebag is what it is. We're a bully. Yeah! You should do what we say! It's like, America's fucking huge. This country's huge. Texas is fucking huge. Like, everybody has guns. So, I'm just saying. We're like, we act like everybody's older brother. We're like, we're, we're older brother to everybody. No, we're like a baby in the scheme of things. Shut up. We're the douchey younger brother, I guess. Dude, we got drugs and guns and hookers. I guess other places have drugs, guns, and hookers, but they just don't brag about us. I'm just me too. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just find this funny. Not funny, it's like tragic. Like, funny in a tragic way. Like, oh, God. Oh, this is going to go so wrong. Look how well it goes for America with everybody with a gun. It's not a good thing, people. It's not. It was all under the pretext of self-defense. There you go. The firearms and ammo were all coded in order to quickly determine a shooter's identity whenever a weapon was just discharged. Now that, that's fucking smart. Under the pretext of self-defense. Yeah. Whatever. Um... That's the same bullshit that people that are really, really for guns are like, no, I'm self-defense. Well, if nobody had guns, then you wouldn't need one. But I get it. We're still going to have illegal guns. And I, I mean, I, I understand both sides of the argument, really. But that's a brilliant fucking thing. Well, now you can't just go shoot people. Most people with guns are not going to go shoot people. But then again, most people with guns aren't the ones shooting people. But I'm, this would have been a genius. That's a genius thing to do is all I'm saying. It's fucking smart. This has to be in the future. Actually, this could have been 20 years ago. Japan is way advanced compared to us. So. Except for their bathrooms. Like, what is the deal with your whole bathroom being your shower? That's just so bizarre. This is a whole side other thing. I know it's not everywhere, but I, I watched, like, a apartment tour video because I was like, just curious. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. So you could literally be taking a shit and a shower at the same time. That's just fucking weird. Like, I... It, you, never like a shower and a tub combo where there's like a door so like everything in your bathroom doesn't go what the what is it's not a camper it's an apartment and like the girl was like well you know because like apartments in like japan are like really small like in tokyo are really small i mean i get my bathroom is huge because everything is big in america but um i still don't it doesn't my whole bathroom doesn't need to be my shower that's fucking weird <laughs> like that's fucking weird <laughs> I don't live in a camper where, like, yeah, okay, understandable. Like, this is, a, you get the, fu it, no, there's, like, a curtain or, like, a little door goes across, and then the water stays in the tub slash shower, and not everywhere! What is that? I don't know. I'm sure it's not everywhere, but it was just that example, and I was just like, this is so fucking baffling. So fucking weird. Like, we have tub-shower combos, and they have, like, bathroom-shower combos, which is just, it's too much! You crossed a line that's just into strange but anyway I just found that fascinatingly kind of weird <sighs> the criminals have guns so the people should be given equal access to equal arms I just really hope you gave out swords to people more because that's just what I want to say I hope one of our cop boyfriends has a sword I just 
I just need that because it'd be fun. Thus, an extra legal measure, the residents of Shinjuku District exclusively have an obligation to carry firearms. Oh, now you're obliged. This is sounding like more and more like America. You should have guns! Everybody gets guns! The law, ratified behind closed doors, was suddenly announced to the public. The police had to obey the government's mandate, and the unrest of the citizens trapped within Shinjuku swelled. Though upset, one could say that the citizens were now better suited to survive other incidents. <coughs> Well, this is all going to go straight to shit. It was obvious this plan was full of holes. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people in Shijuku are going to be full of holes when those guns, you know, you're giving people who don't have weapons training guns. Again, welcome to America. <laughs> but there was no turning back. Mm. On X day, all would be reborn. In order for their utopia to become a reality... Dot, dot, dot. <gasps> Chapter Zero. She's cute. I was going to say, she's busty, but we're always busty. Nobody's ever flat chested. But, like, she's like a hot cop. She's like, I got my shirt unbuttoned. You got a little bit cleavage. Month 12, day 5, 4 p.m. Month 12. Were we in December already? I read SRCPO as Scorpio. And I was like, I'm a Scorpio! That's so great! <laughs> uh, yes, you've reached the SRCPO. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually say that like it's an acronym. Like, you know what I mean? But like, Circ... Circpo? But see, that would make no sense. Scorpio sounded better. I don't know if this is a man or a woman, but anyway. Uh, yes, uh, this is Miss Hoshino on the line, right? That man with the gun is loitering here again. Please come right away. Uh, Masanobu Mochita. Oh, I didn't read his thing. I was trying to read his name. Oh, it's an old lady. Was it that granny again, Hoshino? Yes. Your face tells me she hung up on you again. How many times is that now? He's not one of our dateable boys. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Don't skip on me, text. I don't think he's in anything. Let's check it out. Aside from this that we have played. He's not, he has not done a lot of voice acting. So no, this is the only thing he's in. He's a baby voice actor. He's only done like 10 things. <laughs> As opposed to some, you're like, Jesus Christ, he's been in hundreds of things. Anyway, he's not someone we know. It's okay. I just want to check because you never know. Because sometimes you go like, oh my God, I'm never in this and this and this. But even if they weren't in Code Realize, it's still fun. I have fun doing this and this is what we're going to do now. Anyway. I'm sorry. She always hangs up before I can say anything, so I couldn't tell her no. Listen, Hoshino, think about every time we've gone out there. Even when we follow up on her reports, it's always just her imagination or something that wasn't worth the trip out there. How many times has she sent us on a wild goose chase now? It certainly is true that we've gotten nothing out of any of her reports so far. I like the pink and gray combo. It's pretty. But the way Shinjuku is now, we can't be certain that it'll just be nothing again. Shinjuku! Shinjuku is one of the 23 special wards of Tokyo. The X-Day incidents wrought by Adonis have led to the quarantine of Shinjuku from the rest of the country. Public opinion was strongly opposed to this action. I am so glad there's a glossary so we can bring back tour guide Spacey. That should be a space on the board, but it's not. Well, that's true. I'm not worried about his voice or anybody else's voice. They can all have the same damn one for all I care. We only care about our boyfriends. In any case, isn't the old woman just feeling uneasy? It should have said old woman caller, so I'd know. Oh, there's that guy here with a gun again! Oh dear! Because there's too many men in these games and there's not enough ladies. So I don't know. I have a lot better lady voices. Anyway. Until three short months ago, it would have been unimaginable for a common citizen to be carrying a gun like we are now. Well, they said well, uh, September, October, November. Yeah, okay, so I guess it could be December now because three months ago. All right, so it's December. You're awfully calm about all this, Hoshino. If I didn't know any better, I'd never guess that you've only been on the job for half a year. Huh? Really? Yeah, when I joined the force, I was a lot more reckless. I was pretty much a daredevil after all. You're adorable, but he almost looks like he doesn't have a nose just because of the shading. Why don't you have a nose? It's so light. It's like you can see his nostrils, but you can barely see his nose. <laughs> At least he doesn't, he's not missing eyebrows. 
Even now I think you're too bold. Sorry, I guess I should say hardworking. Nah, but all I do in the SR CPO, I just want to call it Scorpio from now on because I'm just going to, I'm going to trip over SR CPO. And now I'm just thinking C3PO. I just, anyway, his take complaints and apologize for them, even when people talk crap. SRCPO, this is the department of the police that the protagonist works for. Huh? No way. <laughs> this department was created in order to deal with the public calling in to report activity related to X Day. Okay, I also like this. This is really cute how, like, it's a chain with, like, a little thing. It's, like, the tag, and then there's little kitties everywhere, so I don't know what the deal with the cats is. I don't know what the deal with the cats is, but... Back then, the blood would rush to my head. You know, I've really grown up now. Yeah, that's not where it's rushing. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there's no way that SRCPO would get to work the X-Day cases. That's a real shame. Mochita's gazing into the distance again. He really wants to investigate those cases. Mochita, yeah, okay. I said his name really fast, and I was like, did I am reading that right? Once the Quarantine Act was enacted, Shinjuku Station set up a service for residents. Shinjuku Station! The protagonist works here! The main police department in Shinjuku! The department employs roughly 700 people who are under the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Police Department. But you don't tell us what the SRCPO is. Obviously, PO is like... Police office? But the... I, I don't know. I'm seeing the S is Shinjuku, but what's the R and the, like... Um, we've been soliciting tips on the incidents, but we're really understaffed. Aha! Thank you! It's like the game heard me. Special Regions Crime Prevention Office. Aha! So it's not police. Prevention Office. Or the SRCPO comprises officers from many areas. We mainly deal with calls like the one earlier... Or unverifiable claims, and we also patrol Shinjuku to keep the peace. Mochita and I were transferred from the local station here, so we often work together. Shinjuku is a hive of animosity and distrust, so it's not safe to go for a leisurely stroll. I just really hope... Okay. She's a rookie, so she's going to have those, like, doubt moments. But I really hope she's not like a white... I can't do it! You're a fucking cop, bitch. Woman up! Hike the tits up and be a man! No, wait. Hike the tits up and be a woman! Don't be a man, because they're pussies. Um, <laughs> sorry. Seriously. I, I don't know if it, Betty White actually said it, but the whole saying is like, I don't know why everyone says to grow a set, like, grow some balls, because, like, have you ever kicked balls? It hurts. But your vagina can take a pounding and keeps going. Whatever. <laughs> so basically, like, we shouldn't tell people, like, why don't you grow some balls or get some balls? We shouldn't say get some balls, because if you kick them, they're delicate and they hurt. But, you know. Grow a vagina. So see, women are tougher. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Anyway. So yeah, you can just nut, pu nut punch him. Nut punch him. And then he's down and we're fine. And we'll be good. We'll be good to go. It's okay. I'm pretty sure if you kicked anyone in the crotch, it would fucking hurt. Just kick anyone really hard. It hurts no matter where you kick him. Anyway. I'm <laughs> just thinking of my shins now. Uh, anyway. Uh... But I mean, that was my point. I really just hope she's not a fucking pussy. Like, oh, boo-hoo, oh, I can't do anything. Like, I understand the men are going to have to help us. They've been around for a while, so we're going to be a little flaily. But I really hope we're just, we're less than useless is what I'm hoping for. We can't judge her yet, but I mean, I'm just really hoping we're less than useless. We're going to need rescuing and we're going to do something stupid, given. But let's not be a total fucking flake. We're a cop after all. We should be kind of tough. You know, a little bit. Again, we're a newbie. So just a little less than marshmallow levels. Anyway, usually when we get a report, we'll hear about how people don't trust the police. But it still looks like there are some people who rely on the police. You're right. We shouldn't keep that granny waiting too long. Let's go. Yes, sir. I should give all the other side characters really high-pitched annoying voices! Like that, so that... They don't, we don't mix them up with our dudes, but our dudes are more important. So anyway. I'm sure it's just another guy hanging around that creeped her out for no particular reason. But whatever you hear her out, that old lady looks really relieved. Well, she lives alone, so I don't think she has anyone else that she can count on. She looks kind of scary, but sometimes she talks about her grandchild. 
I'm sure that she's actually a kind person. Wait. Her grandkid is going to be one of our boyfriends. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> be fucking hilarious, wouldn't it? Anyway. Probably seems that way to you when you're the one talking to her. You're good at listening to children. You're good at listening to children and elderly people. Oh, great. Not me. I always want to cut them off and make them get to the point. I have to agree. Mochita's pretty much exactly like that. Hey, Hoshino. This is where you're supposed to deny it. Oh, uh, sorry? Seriously, man. You're my subordinate. You're supposed to back me up. That hurts. <laughs> Mochita's my superior, but he always treats me like we're equals. So I really feel like I can just be myself around him. I thought the police force would have a strict pecking order, so that was a big relief. Though I'd never admit that to his face. Hey, are you cops? You seem to have an awful lot of free time. Huh? I turned to face the voice behind me. A vexed man with a gun glared at me. It's because your cops are so incompetent we got trapped here in Shinjuku. Get on your knees and apologize. Oh, there's multiple bystanders. I was reading it in the same voice. Whatever, they're all douchebags, so... Get on your knees and apologize to us. You'll accept your punishment, right? Or... One of the men raised his gun at me. Stop that crap. Oh, 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 oh! Mochita! Mochita swiftly closed the distance and disarmed the man with an arm lock. With an arm lock, okay. Damn you! Let him go! Threatening someone with a gun is a harsh penalty. You still want to give it a shot? Th that's... So what? You think I care about that? I won't make any excuses for what happened. You can probably tell I'm just playing around. Still, I don't see any reason for a cop like me to endure treatment like this. Anyway, find a better way to vent your anger that doesn't involve hurting other people. The gun was given to you for your self-defense. It's not to be used as an offensive weapon. Perhaps cowered by Mochita's words, oh, cowed by Mochita's words, they reluctantly lowered their weapons. Back at douches. Good. The sun's going down now, so leave her alone and run on home. Mochita returned the gun he took from the man and shooed them off. Don't put, th don't pull that on civilians. You hear me? Don't you ever do that again? Now he's just becoming have a normal voice. Whatever, I don't care. The trio retreated quickly, and Mochita turned to me. He should have a different voice, but he's just not one of our dateable characters, so I'm not too concerned. Sorry, Hoshino. Those guys. I know. We'll overlook this, won't we? There's no short shortage of people who harbor that kind of animosity towards the police. Obstructing an officer is a jailable offense. Though they're not exactly wrong for blaming the police for creating this situation. Obstructing an officer. This typically refers to the act of interfering with police investigations. In the broadcast sense of the fr in the broadest sense of the phrase, pardon me. <laughs> Tour guide space you can't read either. It also refers to illegal activities by public employees. Mochita must have felt the same way, so he chose to simply let them go with a warning. I recorded the firearm number for their gun. A firearm number. Currently in the Shinjuku district, citizens over age 20 who meet certain criteria, um, i.e. over the age of 20, are given a firearm with an ID number. The firearm also has a sensor that reports the number and location when it's fired. That's fucking good. I'm sure somebody hasn't figured out how to fuck that tech up, though. What do you mean we couldn't find where the gun was shot from? Oh, because you know, people find ways around things, so. Oh, thanks. I don't think those guys are bad people. One of them still had his safety on anyway. Still, you've matured as a cop. You're calm when someone draws a gun on you. Yes, it's kind of weird to say that I'm used to it, but I can assess the situation now. Once the swords and firearms law got repealed, I would tremble if I was drawn on. Swords and firearm laws. Firearms law. The full official name of the law is the Swords and Firearms Control Law. Handguns, small arms, and blades exceeding a specific length are all restricted under this law. It has currently been repealed in Shinjuku. Yay! Welcome back, Samurais. See, all the Hakuoki boys would be so happy here. Despite my training at, police, at the police academy, I lost my nerve on several occasions when someone pointed a gun at me with hostility. Police academy. <laughs> there is a lot of goddamn tour guide shit here. The academy, as cops refer to it, is... <laughs> Isn't that a quaint little term that nobody else uses? Everybody uses it. Anyway. Is where police officers are trained. Once a candidate passes the employment exam, they're trained here. Students may be sent out as backup for on-duty police officers in crises. 
every time that happened, Mochita stepped in and protected me. It's all thanks to you, Mochita. Watching you handle, handle, yourself, handle yourself like you just did has eased my fear of guns quite a bit. Something you naturally get used to once you've experienced it. Besides, when situations like this arise, I gotta stick up for my subordinate. Mochita puffed out his chest and then let out a carefree laugh. He's relaxed like an easygoing uncle, but he's my reliable superior. What is that thing? In the little door. When we were... I can hear someone yelling. I turned the voices off, but... When we returned to the station, we could hear the stirrings of a commotion. It's probably just because it's like background noise instead of voices. Who would they drag in this time? Well, crime rates in Shinjuku are at a record high. Most of them are first-time offenders. It means civilians haven't accepted things yet. As long as there are people willing to dirty their hands, they'll also be wannabe heroes. Heroes, huh? Last month, the criminal claimed responsibility for x and started shooting randomly. That's what happens when you give people guns. Your, your, your random shootings are going to skyrocket, I'm just telling you. Bystanders gunned him down, and the incident ended without any innocent victims, but... Well, that's a shock. There was talk of thank yous and rewards, and more, more people started to do the same. The criminal died of his wounds, but investigators found no connection between him... Oh... And X Day. The theory is that he was a copycat criminal. Copycat criminal? That wasn't highlighted, you son of a bitch. Copycat criminals are criminals who copy the style of notorious crimes that have been committed by other people. The X Day incidents always have unique coins, making it easy to weed out copycat crimes. Due to this incident, however, the number of people actively carrying guns increased. Okay, that one's at least easier than when we played Seven Scarlet and it would like pop up and I wasn't and I'd be reading and it'd just be this tiny thing in the corner. This one is bigger, so hopefully we don't miss it. We missed a, quite a few in Seven Scarlet in the glossary. I don't go for completionist, it's fine. There are some who praise the citizens taking matters into their own hands, but normally our job would be to bring the guy in, despite all that. Oh, this is kind of cool. I, You know, I realized that his was black and ours was pink, but the next thing is also color-coded. I knew it, but I wasn't really paying attention to his. So I wonder if everybody's got, like... Or if it's just, like, us. Or, like, maybe our guys have individual colors and the side characters are just, like, black. Because, like, we're pink, so do our boys have colors? Do they have color? That's cute. I like that. Officer Mochita, we don't know who might be listening. Mochita looked around and made a sour expression. He lowered his voice. Sorry, I know the brass said to suck it up, but this is just so half-assed. I know how you feel. I'm just as impatient as you are. As a police officer, I also want to help solve the X-Day cases. All I can do is lend an ear to the citizens that turn to the SRCPO. That's all I can do for now. Ah, Hoshino, I have some business with the local planning office. Can you go on ahead? Yes, sir. I parted ways with Mochita, and, a, and soon I came across a familiar face. Could work today, Saiki. Saiki. Yes, Saiki. Yuzuru Saiki, local station, police box. 23. Is that his age, or, like, his police number? Why don't they have noses? It's weird. Although his nose kind of makes him look like a Muppet. Like, it's really funny, right? Doesn't he look like a Muppet? Okay, so they're all black because they don't care. They don't matter, or, like... But, like, look, if you just, like, cover this, right? Look at his eyes and his hair. Like, it's so drawn well and it's beautiful. And then his, like, nose is, like, not there. And then his mouth is, like, a Muppet. It's, like, he's half man, half Muppet. It's weird. Anyway, hold on. This dude. I don't think he's in anything. Psyche. Let's see. He's done 23 games. Let's see. Has he been in anything else that we've played? We're going to do this. We are going to do this, guys. You know you love this. Shut up. <laughs> Um, no, he has not been in anything else. I don't recognize his name, but I'm not going to recognize everybody unless there are. Um, and actually, when I go, the site that I look at, I have to have it with, like, not just the picture of the character with the voice actor name. I need the voice actor picture, because then I recognize it. I'm like, oh, I recognize! <laughs> from our uh, code realize, I'd be like, hey, I recognize his picture from something else, like, from looking at other games and stuff like that. Which is so... Anyway. Hey, Hoshino. Same to you. Are you off today? Uh, no, not yet. I was just on my way to file a report. We attended the academy together and became friends while we were out drinking. 
We also got assigned to the same office, so we're drinking and venting buddies. Aww. He's best friendo, who's probably in love with us. I like how the guys all wear suits like that, but I don't know if we're wearing a uniform like that, but we were busting out of ours in the little thing that they showed us. Like, like, yeah, we, we don't follow the rules and button up our tie. We can't around our bosom, okay? <laughs> I don't care. I'm fine with it. What about you, Saeki? Saeki. Eki. Saeki. It's really fucking hard to say that. Anyway. Nope. I'm also stuck here waiting to write a report. Same as you. And by the way, we're still on for drinking tomorrow, right? Yeah, I have a lot of things I want to ask you. What? More therapy sessions? You've had it rough since you joined the SRCPO. Back at the academy, you were always so fired up. You wanted to make a difference by catching even one more criminal. Well, but back then I... I never would have imagined things would turn out this way. Hey, I'm not saying that I don't like that passionate side of yours. He's thinking about the passionate side of us that he wants in bed. You're adorable, but we don't get to date you. I'm sorry. You're not one of our boyfriends. You are cute, though. I suppose all that passion went out the SRCPO service window, though. No, it didn't. My feelings haven't changed a bit from back then. <laughs> There's that spirit again. Yep, that's how you should be. Without thinking, I flashed a smile in response to Saeki's grin. I feel a bit more relaxed now. Saeki knows just the right thing to say when my mind is like this. Saeki. Saeki something. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Fuck it. That's what it is now. He's a big reason why I can stay optimistic in this job, despite all the dilemmas I face. Well, so who's this? Well, well, I was wondering who you were talking to. Saeki, huh? Eh? Oh. <clears throat> Good work today, Officer Mochita. Yeah. You off now? No, I still need to follow up on some work. Have a good evening. Saeki bounced slightly toward Mochita and gave me a look. Oh my god, my ear itches. Sorry, like sound weird. I'm bouncing my headset all over the place. Look, he's so adorable. He's so cute. It's the hair. There's something about the wild, crazy hair. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, thanks. You two get along pretty well. You're going drinking tomorrow, right? Huh? Did I mention that? Saeki did about a week ago, I think. He came by and told me when you were going out so that I wouldn't give you overtime. S sorry Psyche's a little too straightforward sometimes. <laughs> well, at times like these, you gotta stretch your wings a bit. Have fun. I will. Why is he following us? Is he shady? Is he fucking shady? He feels shady to me. Like, hey! You're going out drinking with him? Why are you spying on me, sir? He's the first character we met, and he's our superior, and he seems like a nice guy. He's shady. I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody! Except for our boyfriends, so one of them is going to be the bad guy. No, they probably won't be, but that'd be fucking hilarious, because I'd be like, <gasps> but I love you! It's okay, I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's kind of like the one that treats us like shit, and you're like, you're an asshole! I'm okay with it, because you're hot, and we're going to fuck later. <laughs> like, it's so not okay in the real world, it's really not. After I handed my report off to Mochita, I suddenly remembered something. I should stop by before I head home. When I have even a little bit of free time, I practice at the station shooting range. Uh-oh. I want to improve my skill just in case they're needed. Plus, shooting helps calm my nerves and deal with anxiety. I like that. I took a firing stance and took a deep breath. Oh, God. My hands used to shake just holding it. Um, there is like a... There are things in games where you do have to shoot in each one of the pads at least once. So, I... And, like, you have to, like, aim and, like, shoot. And I'm, we're going to fail. Because I was, like, reading, like, just, like, a an overview of the game. Um... And trying to figure out like a route order if there is one. Um, the first three guys, you, I, I've seen every different order, and I've seen reasons for why you should do this, this guy, this guy, this ABC because that's the order of their cases. So chronologically, or this guy first because his is a little bit lighter on the plot and blah blah blah. But then the two other, ow, bird Jesus. Um, but then the two other guys don't unlock. Like one doesn't unlock until you've at least gone down one path, I think. But he's second to you should do him second to last, and then but whatever. So we're just gonna do whatever we do. Um, not using a guide or anything. We'll get who we get. Um, and then then we'll use the guide. And so then the last two guys, there's a reason, there's an order for them, and the one guy you have to go down his path last. Um, probably because spoilers. So it'd be stupid. You go down his path, and you're like, well, I know everything now. So we'll do that. But we'll just see who we get the first time around. So anyway. I'm just worried if we're now we're going to have to practice, practice mini game. Anyway, even when firing on static targets, I was reluctant to hold a weapon for killing people. 
I was afraid. The day that I dis uh, dispelled the hesitation was during training one day at the academy. Oh, you're still here. Your face is something bothering you again. Your face says something's bothering you again. Psyche, I don't think I'm suited for this job after all. I'm just shooting a target now, but what if it were a real person? I know I'd miss in that situation. See, she knows us. She's like, you're going to have to shoot a moving target and you're going to suck at this. Yeah, I am, because I'm going to be like, uh, oh, hey, good. That's how you do it. It said that you had to hit a different, like, the left button. See, that's not it. It's the, oh, maybe it meant the left trigger. Okay. Because I was like, I want to just be able to hit the thing, but I couldn't change it. It's the left, like, the left joystick, not the trigger. It, yeah, whatever. Anyway. I thought it said left trigger, and I was like, that seems stupid to click that. I don't want to do that, but this is how you go back. That's the way I like it. That makes more sense. Anyway. That was an accident. But I was trying to like, like, oh, I'm going to do the trigger. We're going to like try to aim and shoot. Maybe we have to use the right one. I don't know. Anyway. But she knows us. She knows we're going to miss and we're going to fail and be terrible at this. Anyway. Oh, you know, what do you think that gun is for? Huh? For catching criminals, right? That again? Aren't you being a bit hard-headed? I believe that gun is so we can shoot to protect. Not just anyone can do it. Police officers have trained to do so. Shooting to protect... You can catch a hostage taker when he lowers his guard, or mobilize a fleeing criminal. You can do that with accurate marks marksmanship. But if you don't have the conviction and skill to shoot, you might let hostages die. Criminals can escape and commit more crime. It isn't a killing weapon. You shoot to protect. Can you try to think of it that way? Yeah, you're right. The reason we're issued guns is because we're responsible for protecting the people. Yeah, besides Hoshino. Think, I think that because we're allowed to carry guns, we need to be ready for the worst. Worst case scenario, you mean where we might have to kill to protect the innocent? Yeah, you have to be prepared to take a life in order to protect the lives of others. He just said it's not to shooting to kill, and then he's like, but you might have to. But you do... <laughs> if it were to come down to that, would you have what it takes to shoot? I just said I didn't! Didn't I just fucking say I didn't? After listening to his words, I understood what the weapon... Who the weight of a weapon meant to Saeki. For him, this was not just a tool for killing. It was a means to protect people. I shouldn't hold a gun without the resolve. As a police, of a police officer must be ready to shoot. And a police officer. Okay, whatever. After that, I devoted myself to training. As Saeki said, conviction alone is worthless. Without marksmanship, a gun would still just be a killing weapon. To make sure I would, I would be able to protect, I've been training at the range daily. My skills have improved dramatically. In fact, marksmanship is my greatest skill. Oh, great. Of course, I doubt my performance in the field will mirror my skill and training. I never know when that time will come, but when a key moment comes, I don't want regrets. As long as Shinjuku stays this way, as long as the x day incidents are unsolved, I get the feeling that I'll need to be ready. I aimed my pistol again and raised my head. Oh, God. Okay, how do we do this? No, one more time. Oh! No, one more time. Okay, we hit the X button, I think. Okay. Phew! Before I knew it, an hour had passed. Okay. So we wait till it's in a certain range, but it doesn't really... See, this does not tell you what you're supposed to do, and I don't like that. Like, I only knew because I, when I was reading the shoot thing, and it said something about if you miss it, it's gray, and if it's red, then you hit it. But... But it doesn't tell you that you just wait till it's in a certain range. Like, I figured we'd have to aim or something, so I'm not really 100% sure I still get how to do it. But anyway. In the end, all of my shots had formed a tight grouping in the center. I let out a deep breath. Can we redo that? Some fine shooting is expected. Whoa. Surprised by the sudden voice behind me, I spun around, startled. Saggy, you still haven't left. I got bogged down with work. I figured I'd step up for a breather, and I saw that you were here. Oh, um, were you watching this whole time? You should have said something. You were concentrating pretty hard, so I didn't want to interrupt. Besides, I was enjoying it. Maybe he's the creepy one, because he's totally in love with us. He is totally in love with us? I don't know, I'm just really suspicious. We're going to wake up with a fucking poison collar on, okay? I'm just saying, I'm not necessarily sure I trust our boss or, like, work boyfriend here, okay? It's 
Because he'd be like, because you're not in love with me. You know, because we're really gung-ho. We want to solve these crimes. And so far, the only two people we've talked to about it are these two. So I'm just suspicious of them is all I'm saying. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I like watching you shoot. It helps me relax. Hmm, it's cathartic, I guess. Uh, what the heck? Should I be happy to hear that? Of course, it's a compliment. I respect you. I respect that you're a hard worker and that you try and improve yourself for the future. He's so trying to get in our pants right now. Where's this suddenly coming from? You won't get anything out of flattering me. He's always confident, so something fell off. Psyche let a small chuckle at my attempt to deflect my embarrassment. You've always been passionate. Yeah, he wants us to be passionate in the sack with him. He so fucking wants to bone us. You started coming here more once the weapons ban was lifted a few months ago, right? Yeah. As he said, it was around then. He knew, even though I hadn't spoken about it. I definitely intensified my training after the weapons ban was lifted because he's stalking you. Because this hunk of metal, which was a trained police officer... Okay, because of the, because this hunk of metal, which a trained police officer needed conviction to wield, had been distributed to the untrained masses, the world had turned into a place where people would half-jokingly draw guns at other people, just as those men had done earlier today. You can probably tell I'm just playing around. Still, I don't see any reason for a cop like me to endure treatment like this. Anyway, find a better way to vent your anger that doesn't involve hurting other people. That gun was given to you for your self-defense. It's not to be used as an offensive weapon. Don't get me wrong, he's adorable, but I'm just really concerned that he's trying so hard to get in our pants. But we've known him for a while, so. When I remembered Mochita's words, the pistol felt heavier than ever. And it's funny because, like, she's totally clueless about boys liking her. But it would be kind of interesting to have a game, like, say in this setting, because, like, this one would almost work. We're like, maybe, like, we're friends and we hang out and, like, maybe you're thinking, like, huh, maybe I'm interested in him. He's kind of interested in me. And, like, maybe you're in the beginning stages where, like, you know, if you hadn't had a poison collar and been thrown into these five hot dudes, that maybe you would have dated him because your life would have been normal. But now you're thrown into this craziness and you're like, yes, but there's all these crazy hot dudes. So, sorry. <laughs> But I guess that just makes you sound like an asshole. And they're like, that would be douchey. But it's like, it would be douchey. But in a way, it'd be like, well, it's a t turn of events. Like, you're like, if my life were normal and you're just going down the normal path and we go to work every day and go home every day and go to work every day and go home every day, she would fucking marry this dude. You know it, right? She would fucking marry him because he's in her social circle and they're friends and they've known each other for a while and they would just end up in bed and getting married and having babies and like, whatever, that'd be it. Like, done. Cause like, please, like she's got time to go out, fucking get on Tinder or something, whatever, right? Like, whatever dating app people you, I don't know, I don't use dating apps, it's terrible. But anyway, you know. But then all of a sudden she ends up with a collar on, and then these five hot cops rush up. Whoa, dun, 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 it's all this crazy mystery, weird shit going on, and like, then you're caught up in this whirlwind of sexy, crazy guys. Cause uh, you know at least one of them's motherfucking. One's an asshole. One's kind of like a flirty douchebag. One's a complete fucking asshole. And then someone's mysterious and strange. And then the other guy's just probably like a perv. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? They got, there's very few personalities that end up in these guys. And they usually like, there's about like seven maybe personality traits going on. You know, you really got the nice guy, but you have the pervy kind of douchey flirty guy, like overly flirty or just like trying to get in your pants right off the bat. And it could be creepy or it could just be like, whoa, guys, simmer down. You know, you've got the asshole that's a marshmallow. Uh, you know, you got the mysterious stranger. You got the stabby one. You know, there's there's just like a set amount of like personality tri like types that just end up there. And you know that none of them. You're like, no. Most of the time, you're like, no. You're all kind of assholes, except for the nice guy. Except for like the nice guy, right? He's usually, like, the only one you're like, no, normally you'd be the perfect one. The rest of you are like, there's some kind of douche going on with you, but I don't know why I love you so much. She would date this guy because he's just fucking normal. He's just fucking normal, but she gets caught up in the crazy whirlwind. And then, you, so it would just be great to see this, like, where you're like, oh, you yeah, know, we hang out. I'm like, huh, I mean, I think he's interested in me. And you're like, hmm, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm considering it, but I, I don't know. Do I have time for romance? I don't know. But but there's a considering, not like, what? I'm totally oblivious and you're in love with me? And God, no. It's really more like, I would love to just see that. Because it would just, I don't know. Maybe I'm an asshole. 
Because you know he's going to get his heart ripped out because he's like all in love with her and she's completely clueless and then she's going to go bone these five dudes. Well, you know, one of them. Whatever, sure. Whatever, Spacey Harem. We got all five. <laughs> um, but, but then this poor guy's like, oh. But it would be almost... I guess maybe if we're going to let him down, we should just let him down from the highest height of like, well, maybe we'd consider going up. Never mind. <gasps> you know, I guess it would just be more realistic than her being completely oblivious. Like all the time, you know, just be like, maybe. Oh, never mind. Like she's on the fat. Like she just considers it like, huh, could I date him? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really think that now's the time, but I mean, maybe in the future, never mind. And then here comes that fucking tornado of hotness, right? And then it's like, oh, sorry, Toto. We go into Oz. You stay your ass in Kansas. I'm just all I'm saying. Anyway, that was a complete ramble. You're welcome. Points on the board. Uh, okay, when I remembered Mochita's words, the pistol felt heavier than ever. This was not something to be taken lightly. I'm sure that many of the citizens baffled by the government policy felt similarly. Some objected to the distribution of guns, but now some people will obviously use them. And not just for self-defense. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make civilians carry this burden. I have the conviction to shoot. I am a cop. That's my responsibility. I'll fulfill my duty no matter what, but... People who haven't readied themselves now have the power to kill someone with a trigger pull. Yeah, I think that's kind of weird, too. The fact that we could carry guns set us apart. We trained to defend the law and had guns to uphold it, and you had to be fucking trained. I, I see what you're saying. Even if the government says this is for self-defense, I think this is wrong. These people who run the country don't want to talk about what they've done here. I'm not in a position to protest it, but I can't approve of a world where people are suddenly made to wield a weapon. Words alone aren't enough. When the moment comes, my skill my skills need to prevent civilians from ever having to use their guns. Yeah, I won't lag behind you. Although I don't think I'll be able to beat you now. You've always had a gift for mark marksmanship. Psyche strolled away with a bright laugh. As I watched him leave, he looked back at me with a vague smile. He is adorable, in a Muppet kind of way. Hey, Hoshino! When a criminal is right in front of you, you're prepared to shoot to protect, right? Yeah. I can now resolutely answer the question that he had asked me before, unless it's you, because we're going to be like, No, but you're our friend! He's so going to be the bad guy. Because <laughs> it's our friend, and we wouldn't see that coming, but we see it coming. So it's not going to be him. So it's like, you could see it either way, right? Like, well, it could be him because we wouldn't see that coming. Oh, but I saw it coming, so it's going to be someone totally different because we didn't see that coming. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to be suspicious of everybody. I turned Psyche's smile. I returned Psyche's smile and settled into a firing stance with my gun. I pulled the trigger without hesitation, as if to demonstrate my determination. Conviction was carved into my heart. Conviction was carved. 10 p.m. Six hours later. It was 4 p.m. before, right? Yeah. yeah. I left the station and walked to my home when a brisk wind made me shiver. Well, wow, that's a lot of background noise. I hope it's not too loud. I'll have to check the volumes after this part. Oh, it's cold. Even though a muffler and a thick coat, even through a muffler and a thick coat, the December chill stung my body. My breath exited my body as tiny white cold and I glanced at the nearby buildings. This place sure has changed. Shinjuku used to be, a bus be bustling day and night. Nowadays, it was mostly empty after nightfall. That's because you won't let people into Shinjuku. Much of, much of society just stopped functioning when Shinjuku became quarantined. Shops, schools, and utilities continued to work to the government's satisfaction, but everything else was non-existent. So long as the criminals remained at large, there would always be an uneasiness here. And... Like, if you think about it, no tourists are coming in, no outer people, only the people in Shinjuku are allowed to be in Shinjuku. And what if you were at home when they put the quarantine in effect? You're like, but I live there, and my house is, can I not come in? Like, I'm stuck outside? It's hard to tell people to live their normal lives in this situation. And you think of all the shops that it's like, well, I used to have to pay my rent, and now I fucking can't because a fraction of the people that are coming into my shop because there's no more tourists. You couldn't just visit friends anymore. You had to weigh it against being targeted. People didn't know whether they or their loved ones would be the next victims, but they had to go on living somehow. It was hard to put into words just how much I missed life before the quarantine. I know I'm not the only one who has come to this realization. Hmm? 
I hurriedly took out my phone, which was displaying Mochita's name. Oh my god, our phone. Our phone! Wait. <gasps> That's so cute. That's like the fucking police dog thing on her phone. Oh my god. Does he have a problem with my report? Wondering what I'd do if I was asked to return, I answered the call. How beautiful our fucking phone thing is. I wish mine looked like that. It's pretty. Yes, this is Hoshino. Sorry to call you back to work, but it's urgent. Sounds like there's trouble in Shinjuku Garden. Shinjuku Garden? Anyone hearing the name would be wary. The X day incident in August. Incident in August. Shinjuku Garden was the scene of the crime and the epicenter of much public fear. It should be closed off to the public. Given the site, we can't rule out a connection to the X day cases. Most of the officers from the from the police boxes are out on their business, so they've asked us to respond to the situation. Acknowledged. I'll head there right away. We don't know who or what we're dealing with. Stand by until I get there. You hear me? I know. I won't act on my own. And there's also, you answer, like, so from what I understand with the, how the romancy thing works, is you got to get, like, trust and light and, like, whatever. There's, like, bars, like, you know, that you'll be able to see. So kind of like, you know, most things you don't, most games you don't see it. It's behind the scenes. And, like, obviously in Hakuoki, you can check your tree bloom, you know, whatever. But I think they're, depending on the chapter, there's, like, different, like, once you get to a certain point, then you, you know, there's three different, I, I don't like love meters, basically they're not love meters, but one's like trust and one's whatever and one's whatever. And I think you progress through, like you start out with one and then the next, after a certain point, then you do the next one. But it's like, you could have no trust and you could be going to the next bar. But if you get high enough on all three, that's when you get the good ending or whatever, something we'll figure it out when we get there. I'm not too concerned. Um, but some of the things like, obviously like anything else, it's how you answer the question or how you answer, you know, depending on if they like the answer or not. Right. But there's also, you could point text messages count too. So, um, but I'm assuming that's, it's like a choice. How do you want to answer this text, this or this? So it's going to be really hard because we're not going to know, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't know. Cause you're not, we don't know the guy enough to know. And I'm just going to answer it the way I feel like answering it. And then when we, we'll probably get a bad ending, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I ended the call and hastily made my way over to Shinjuku garden. When I arrived, I quickly scouted the area and assessed the situation. Nobody's here. The area was dark and vis visibility was poor. Um, and then is this where we're going to get collared? Wait. While responding to a call late one night, she was ambushed, and upon awakening, she found that she'd been collared with an un by an unknown person. Uh-huh. Um, so this makes you think the boss is suspicious, right? Because like he called us and like, oh, we're going here. And then she ends up here and then she's going to get ambushed and call her and be like, you led me there. But somebody could have called it in and said, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. There's a thing going down. Uh, and he's answering the call and he doesn't know. But it does make him look suspicious. More suspicion on him, but also suspicion everywhere else. Suspicious everywhere. everywhere. You get suspicion and you get suspicion and you get suspicion and everybody gets suspicion. Woohoo! It's like fucking Oprah up in here. Anyway. It'd be tough for me to tell if anyone was laying an ambush in there. Ha <laughs> ha! And yet they are. Just in case, I drew my sidearm. I gotten into the habit of always carrying my weapon, and I practiced often, but I'd never actually used it in the field. So to be honest, I was nervous. Still, if I was confronted with someone who intended to take the lives of others, I would... I can't hesitate. While cautiously eyeing my surroundings, I approached the sealed gate to Shinjuku Garden. He said to wait for him. Why isn't Mochita here yet? Suspicious! It seemed like it was taking him an awfully long time to get to Shinjuku Garden. I wonder if he's gotten into some trouble. While I was debating whether to call him, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. Ah, is that Mochita? Nope. I turned around. I felt something push against my waist, then a shock coursed through my body. Uh. Welcome. Um. Hmm. This would be a good place to stop. We're almost at time. We normally go a few minutes over an hour, but I'm going to stop here because 
And like, we know she just got ambushed. <gasps> we know she's going to wake up with a collar on. But I don't know how long it's going to go after that. It could be like another part. It could be two, It could be like, I don't know. But we're going to stop here because it seems like a decent place to stop. And then we will come back in the next part and see what happens. So, yeah, I will. Well, okay. Before we get to that, I'd be like, this is this is intriguing so far. Um, we haven't met our boyfriends. We probably meet them maybe in the next part. Yay. Boyfriendos. Um, but yes, it's going to be interesting. I'm curious to see what happens. So it's good so far. I like it. So, um, obviously you like games more as they go on, but usually in the first part, if you're like, this board game is really fucking boring. I can't stand it. Like, I don't understand it. Like whatever, you know what I mean? It kind of ruins it, but so far I'm intrigued so far. I think it'll be good. Um, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.